What's up, YouTube? This is Russell from Russell's Reef coming to you with episode 25 of the Waterbox 70.3 build. Uh, this episode, I just kind of want to go over a couple of the bumps in the road that I've been hitting lately. Um, the tank is pretty much on cruise control, but I do have a couple of outstanding issues that I've been working on. So in this episode, we're just going to kind of take a look at what's going on, do a little tank tour, and go through some of the problems I've been facing. So let's take a look. So we'll start off with a little tour of the tank. Uh, here's the Zoa Garden on the left. Uh, as you can see, everything's really taken off. I wish there was a little more diversity in the colors though. Those purple pallies are kind of taking over everything. They're not very bright, but the Digitata and the Acros over there look good. Um, Monte Cap's looking good. That Ghani Pour I bought is just a small little frag and now it's getting pretty big, which is nice. I'm having some trouble with the Rasta Zoas. Um, they've been closed up for a while. I'm not sure if they're getting stung by that Ghani Pour or what the deal is, but I'm gonna just keep an eye on them. Uh, that Weeping Willow Toadstool is looking awesome. I love that thing. Over here, some more Acros. You can see they're all doing good, all puddling out at their base, so everything's definitely growing. Um, I got two PC rainbows up there. One's a little more colored up than the other, but that's just an awesome piece, I love it. Uh, everything else over here is looking good. Uh, that pink tabling acro is taking off, it grows super fast. It's not very bright, but in real life it looks a little better than that. Uh, the bubblegum digi, as you can see, looks crazy. And then this zogarn on the right just looks awesome. Came together really nicely, so really pleased with that one. Uh, this little Monty Porgarn over here looks cool too. I love the Digitatas, they're so bright and their growth structure is always really interesting and crazy. The only problem is they break so easy, so just gotta be careful with that. But overall, as you can see, the tank is looking pretty good and I'm feeling pretty good about the tank as a whole right now. Uh, besides the tank uh, tour, I just wanted to kind of go over some of the issues that I've been dealing with. Um, most of them are revolving around water chemistry issues. So for my tank, I'm just dosing um, two part. That's it, that's the only thing I add is two part and food to the tank. And then the water changes like probably 10% every two or three weeks. Um, but the issue I began having was my alkalinity was no longer stable and I kept raising up the dose of the two part higher and higher and it was just kept dropping so um, basically what was happening was where I was dosing in my sump, it was not enough flow and the alkalinity was, um, what's the word for it? Precipitating and basically I was just not able to get my water to hold the dose that I was uh, adding to the tank. So the first thing I did to kind of fix this issue was first I watched a couple of videos by BRS and basically I stopped dosing the calcium portion of my two part because my calcium was through the roof um, and I only dosed alk for about a week and I changed the area where I was dosing to a more higher flow area of the tank. So that helped a little bit, but I still noticed that I was still getting some precipitation. So what I did recently was I changed my dosing regimen. I was dosing before like 20 mLs every five hours basically, and I switched that to um, dose every other hour on the hour with a smaller dose. So about five mLs every other hour. And I'm hoping that uh, straightened things out. I definitely got the elk to raise up a little bit so we're on our way but that was kind of an issue that I've never ran into before I was dosing about 120 mls of two-part for a 40 gallon tank so I mean I definitely use a lot but something was definitely wrong there and kind of the main thing I got out of this whole situation was if you're dosing way too much and nothing is going up it usually means that you're just dosing too much. So it's kind of counterintuitive because once you get to a certain point, uh, the water just can't hold it and it'll just precipitate out and then that'll make your elk drop even faster. So 
I'm hoping that now that I change the dose to a smaller dose, spread throughout the day into a more higher flow area, it'll fix the problem. But I'm definitely keeping an eye on it, and it was definitely um, a new situation for me that I, I'm hoping that I, I fix, but only time will tell. And the second issue that I've been dealing with, although you probably can't tell from this video because it's a little older, these, uh, these clips are actually taken about two months ago. I just haven't had time to make a new video, but um, I've been dealing with a pretty large hair algae outbreak. And what happened was my RODI um, water filter basically uh, needed some stuff to be replaced. I needed some new uh, DI resin. And I was getting some higher TDSs out of it. So before I went on vacation, I actually went to a local fish store, which is probably the biggest fish store in the area, and got some water from them, uh, 15 gallons. And I think what happened was, because I didn't really change anything else in the system, is that water must have been um, just a little higher in TDS and it led to a pretty huge algae outbreak. Uh, it's really the only thing I can think of. I didn't change anything else in my system and I was actually feeding much less than I was before. So um, that just goes to show you just, um, you never know what you're gonna get when it comes to water at your local fish store. So in my opinion, it's always better kind of make your own water just so you know exactly what you're getting. But uh, overall, as you can see, the tank is doing pretty good. Um, it actually looks a lot different now. I went to a frag swap and picked up a bunch of SPS frags, so it's a little more filled out. Um, you'll see that on the next video whenever I get around to it. Like I said, I've been pretty busy, but uh, thanks for tuning in, and don't forget to like and subscribe. All right.